The amino acids can exist in three forms, all depending on the pH of the solution they are in. For example, in an acidic solution with a low pH, the amino acid alanine exists as a positively charged ion. In a neutral solution, it exists as a zwitter ion, and in an alkaline solution with a high pH, it exists as a negatively charged ion. The exact pH at which either the carboxylate group of a zwitter ion accepts a H plus ion or the NH3 plus group releases a H plus ion is different for different amino acids. This is all because different R groups affect the acidity of the carboxylic acid group and the basicity of the amine group differently. The more acidic the acid group is, the lower the pH a solution needs to be for the carboxylate ion to accept a H plus ion back again and reform the acid group. The weaker the acid group, however, the less acidic the solution needs to be, meaning it can accept a H plus ion at a slightly higher pH. This kind of makes sense. A stronger carboxylic acid group doesn't really want to take the H plus ion back, meaning a high concentration of H plus ions and low pH is needed to force it to take a H plus ion and reform the acid. Equally, a weaker carboxylic acid group can easily be forced to take a H plus ion back, meaning it can happen with a lower concentration of H plus ions and a slightly higher pH. It's the same story for the amine group. If the amine group has a high basicity, that means it easily accepts H plus ions. And if it does easily accept one, it isn't going to want to let it go either, <laughs> meaning it takes a high concentration of OH minus ions to force the ammonium group in a Zwitter ion to give up a H plus ion and reform the NH2 group, compared to an amine group with a low basicity. This is why different Zwitter ions will release H plus ions from the NH3 plus groups at different pHs in alkaline solutions. This also means that Zwitter ions form at different pHs for different amino acids. The pH at which the amino acid forms a Zwitter ion and exists with no overall charge is sometimes referred to as its isoelectric point.